Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the different colors of ink refills that are available from Monteverdi or Monteverde for the Parker compatible pens. And in this case, this is just a Parker jotter. Now, there's nine different colors of Monteverdi ink available, and all of these are fine points. And I got to tell you, originally, I was looking for a uh, a pink ink refill because I wanted to find a a pink pen, a pink jotter that had kind of cool looking pink ink for a friend of mine. And when I tried writing with the pen with the cartridge, I really liked it. And it made me hunt down all the rest of the different colors and give them a shot. And the Monteverdi, here's a package for them. And what they are is they're some they're ceramic gel refill cartridges that will fit any Parker style ballpoint pens and these are intended for the capless ballpoints so this pen right here I have it loaded with black because this is the pen I've been using lately and so let's take a look at this and this is the Monteverdi And these are fine gel refills. Oh, that is off camera. Let me fix that. There we go. Now, these are very enjoyable to write with. And I have very much enjoyed, I mean, I've, I switched over, I switched over the three jotters that I carry to different colors that I happen to use on a daily basis. So for this one, this is the black ink. And it writes very smoothly. And this paper right here, this is just standard white printer paper. And I also have a moleskin journal. So you can see how the ink will look on their ivory kind of cream color pages. So Monteverdi. And this is refills. And so black, it writes very nicely. It's, these are very pleasant to write with. So that's the black one. Now, the black one is the only one that I'm going to do out of order. And I figure we'll tackle these in the order they are on the refill container. So the first one is black, I'm sorry, is brown. And what I'm going to do to speed things up is I'm not going to bother putting it in the pen. I'm just going to write with the refill and we'll give it a shot. And as you can see, these come with the little caps to try to cover the cover the ink. So this one is brown. Brown doesn't look too bad. It's a little weird writing with the refill. But aside from that, it's not not awful. And so brown on the in the moleskin. Again, it writes pretty good. The brown is closer to a light tan in color than what I would consider like a darker brown. So there's the brown one and the purple one. By the way. If any of y'all are ever in a situation where you're using ink pens or ink cartridges and handling them a lot and you're wearing gloves, I recommend, especially white gloves, I recommend trying to use the same pair of gloves each time you handle ink cartridges as I am doing because, anyway, well, you can see the effects of handling these. Alright, so this is the purple one. and. Pop off the little cover, and so we have purple. Wow, that purple looks, it looks, it's a definite, it's definitely a bluish purple. It looks like there's a lot of blue in that. And over here, it 
Hmm. Okay. It looks a little more purple on this page than here, but that is a very blue purple. And one that I'm really curious about is the orange one. It seems like it's tough to get like really orange ink. So, well, that's kind of a pleasant color of orange. Doesn't look bad. And then over here, we have orange. Hmm. I like the orange. That's a pretty color. And it definitely looks orange. It's like the purple looked more... The purple looked more bluish purple. Alright, the next one is pink. And this is the one that I really liked and got me to check out more of these. Let me pull a little thing off this one. This one is pink. And... This is a little bit, it's not like a super light pink. It's more of a little bit darker pink. And pink over here. Not bad. Again, the pink looks pretty good. Now, we have turquoise. And I'm excited to see this one too. So, because I don't want to embarrass myself and misspell turquoise on film, T U R Q U O I S E. Turquoise. Did I spell that one right? T U R Q U O I S E. Okay, there we go. And the turquoise. Hmm. Uh, it's a pretty good color, actually. I like it. T U R Q U O I S E. So, turquoise looks pretty good. Uh, let's give that a. Sh and I've already tried out a green and a red one, but for the sake of comparison. So, this one is green. And I like the green. I like the green a lot. The green is more of a darker green. It's maybe closer to like forest green, maybe. And over here. So I'm very happy with the green one. And I like the red one as well. I use the red one for I use the red and the green one for work. So red. The red is it's definitely a bright red. I don't I mean there's not really there's no confusion with this color red. Like you aren't gonna think it's a, a different color. So red. Like so. And then we have one here that I was kind of curious about. This is a blue-black. And I'm, I'm curious about the blue-black and how it actually looks. So this is blue-black. And this is kind of a... It actually, it actually looks exactly like advertised. It's like a really dark blue that's kind of headed toward black, but it's not it's not actually black. Like so. Let's set this one aside. I want to 
when we're when, after we look at the last two colors, I want to try. I want to write this one right next to the actual black one so we can compare. The next one is blue, and blue again is. I like this color of blue. It's a good shade. And then over here, blue. Like so. And so that is all nine colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All ten colors? The miscount? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there's ten colors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. Maybe I forgot to count black. Anyway, as a comparison, you have the blue and you have let me make sure that is all on camera. You have the blue, this is the blue black, and then you have the black itself. So there is a difference, and you can see a difference if you compare them. Let me color in a little block right here. So this is black. And this is blue black. And then you have blue. And so So there definitely is a difference and I'm hoping that's showing up on camera. Okay. There's definitely a difference there. So I guess the blue black is interesting, but I don't know if it's really as exciting as any of the other colors. I think of all the colors here, I'm probably least happy with brown. And the reason I'm not super happy with brown is like it is it's a brown. I mean it is a brown, but it's kind of a the brown seems less vibrant than the other colors that we have and being brown it may just be unavoidable that it's not as vibrant well if you're looking for some refills that are very comfortable to write with and have some pretty neat fairly vibrant colors you might want to give the Monteverdi Monteverde the fine gel refills a shot and these are all Parker pen compatible so they'll work both in your normal Parker pens and they should work in a bullet pen too. Let me see real quick. Let's check this out. I don't know if they'll need the adapter or not. Let's check it out real quick and see. So if you wanted to try it with a space pen, actually, yeah, the space pen will need the little adapter that the refills come with to fit these, to, hmm, hold on, no, maybe it won't, maybe it won't fit at all, hold on, let's see, I'm curious about this now, I didn't try it in my space pen, nope, so, It'll just work in your Parker compatible refills. So, that's good to know. Anyway, if you have any questions, or if you have any suggestions, or if you've used these particular refills and like them or dislike them, just leave a comment down below. If you have any suggestions for any refills or anything else that you'd like to see me talk about, you can leave a comment. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I hope you have an excellent day